I want to share with you five courses on ChatGPT and prompt engineering. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for, but they're all very good and I think you'll like them. Tell me why! They're from respected and knowledgeable providers. Prompt engineering is going to be an incredibly useful skill to have. So here are the five courses. I've also added some extras in there as well and I think I've saved the best course for last. Let's move to the computer and I'll show you what I've got. You have to start somewhere and I've decided to start here. This is the edX AI applications and prompt engineering course. This is quite a focused course. If you're looking for a more general introduction to ChatGPT and prompt engineering, then you're going to love the next course. But if you want to create AI apps with prompt engineering, then this will be the course for you. So go and check it out if you fall into that category. If you don't and you're looking for a more general introduction, then I think you're going to love this one. Now, let me just show you. We'll go back up to the top here. Prompt engineering for chat GPT. I'm not going to read out all the blurb because you can read it yourself. But here it says, chat GPT can tutor your child in math, generate a meal plan and recipes, write software applications for your business, help you improve your personal cybersecurity. And that's just in the first hour that you use it. So this is a, a more general use case. So whatever you want to use chat GPT for, this will teach you the skills you need to be able to achieve that. How to apply prompt engineering to effectively work with large language models like ChatGPT. And if you have a look at what's included, let's just scroll down here, you'll see what you've got. So course introduction, introduction to prompts, uh, and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, prompt patterns, few shot examples, prompt patterns two and prompt patterns three. That doesn't really give us much insight. So let's just have a quick look. So here, introduction to prompts, what is a prompt? Uh, intuition behind prompts, everyone can program with prompts. And that that really is true. And that is one of the powers of using prompt engineering to get what you want. You can write apps that don't exist to achieve outcomes that you really want. So I think if you want a general introduction, this will be the one for you. OK, you know, when I said I was going to save the best to last, well, I lied. This is a little gem and I think it's one of the best, certainly free courses. It's free for a limited time. I don't know how long it's going to stay free, but this is ChatGPT prompt engineering for developers. Again, this is a more specific use case of ChatGPT and prompt engineering. But if you want to learn prompt engineering best practices for application development, then I think this is going to be an incredibly useful course for you. So go and take a look. There are a few others that I think are worth mentioning. So learn prompting and all the links are in the description. Uh, this looks like a useful course as well. So again, it, depending on what your use case is, I would take a look at this one uh, and then learn prompt engineering from the Prompt Engineering Institute, whatever that is. Uh, this is another good course. Now, although I haven't taken this course, I've had a good look through it and it does seem to be very comprehensive. Let me just scroll down and show you what it has here. You're not going to need to take all of these courses. Have a look through them, see which ones suit your needs the best and take one or two of them. I would take a general one and then a more focused one. I found this prompt engineering guide quite useful in the early days of chat GPT. So you might too. And then I've also included just a couple of articles that you might find useful. Machine Learning Mastery, if you've had any experience of learning machine learning, then you've probably come across this site. He's written an article on prompt engineering for effective interaction with chat GPT. I'd certainly have a look at that. Uh, I think you'll find it quite instructive. And Free Code Camp has a guide to prompt engineering as well. Their stuff's always really good. It costs nothing. So, you know, it's probably worth reading through this article too. And um, what else? There is one more from Microsoft. Microsoft's learning materials are actually pretty good. This is quite a nice comprehensive introduction to prompt engineering. So take a look and see what you think. If you want to learn STEM subjects like math, science and computer science, then I think you're going to love Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Because when it comes to learning, there's a massive difference between just passively absorbing information and actively engaging with it. And that's where Brilliant absolutely stands out. Brilliant is not just about learning. It's about deep understanding. It's about becoming that person who doesn't just know the facts, but can think deeply, solve problems and navigate complex concepts with ease. So here's an example. I've been working through Brilliant's course on artificial intelligence. It's not a series of dry lectures. It's hands on exploration of AI. I'm not just learning about neural networks. 
I'm diving in, experimenting, and gaining a deep understanding of how they work. The interactive problems make sure I'm not just memorizing facts, but really understanding the concepts. Brilliance courses are designed to fit into a busy schedule. You can dive into a topic in just 15 minutes a day. So if you're interested, you can try Brilliant free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer, or just click on the link in the description. And if you use that link, the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.